What a way to start a holiday. I love the sound of the rain at night. It's so restful. I couldn't agree more, dear. After all, that's what holidays in Sandy Cove are all about. Rest and relaxation. Your move, Rupert. Hmm. It looks as if it's never going to stop raining. I'm sure tomorrow will be bright and sunny, Rupert. I hope so. Wow! Oh, my! <gasps> Look! What is it, Rupert? There's a plane out there, and it looks as if it was going to crash. A plane? In this weather, I don't see anything. There! <laughs> What's going on? Well, it would appear that the pilot was able to make an emergency landing. Right on that lampshade over there. <laughs> but it looked so real. I should have known better. Nothing ever happens in Sandy Cove. Which is precisely why I like it here. Aha! <laughs> Your move, son. I suppose that's game. I suppose it is. Listen to this, Rupert. Things to do in Sandy Cove. This morning, there's an exhibition of driftwood art at the village hall. Driftwood art? The ladies' auxiliary is holding a woolen and baked goods sale. Oh, it's opening day at the Seaweed Museum. Seaweed Museum? It says here there are 57 different varieties of seaweed found in this area. Well, that settles it. We'll go to the Seaweed Museum first. Actually, Dad, I think I'd rather go beachcombing, if that's all right. You go right ahead, Rupert. You can meet up with us later if you want to. You'd better take the paper so you'll know where to find us, son. I've marked out the entire day's itinerary. Thanks, Dad. Bye. And Rupert, keep your eyes open for seaweed. You never know. He might discover a brand new variety. The 58th variety. Wouldn't that be something? Yes, dear. That certainly would be something. Strange. It's metal. And it's such a bright yellow. Seaweed? Hey! <laughs> it's Grace Volutus. Around here, we just call it Green Velvet. It's one of 57 different varieties of seaweed found in this area. <laughs> so I've heard. Is this the only kind that hits you in the head, or do I have to watch out for the other 56 varieties as well? <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mean to hit you. I was just looking for something to do. You know what they say. Nothing, nothing ever, ever happens, happens in Sandy, Sandy Cove. Cove. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Francis. I'm Rupert. You're lucky, Rupert. You're a tourist. You can go home soon and have some fun. How do you know I'm a tourist? I mean, does it show? Things to do in Sandy Cove. <laughs> the Driftwood Art Exhibit. The opening day of the Seaweed Museum. A walking tour of the local rock gardens. A Golden Age lawn bowling tournament. A major jewel theft. A major jewel theft? It doesn't say that here. Look. The tiger's eye, a priceless ruby the size of a tennis ball, was stolen yesterday from the National Museum. The daring theft is thought to be the work of the infamous jewel thief known as the Chameleon. Scotland Yard's top agents are on his trail. Some think the thief made his escape in a small plane. I thought I saw a plane last night, in the storm. My dad said it was just a reflection, but... What? No one would fly in that weather. Unless he was making an escape. There's something else. The plane looked as if it was going down. That means the chameleon might be right here in Sandy Cove. Yes! There's only one thing wrong with that theory, Rupert. What's that? Nothing ever happens in Sandy Cove. And certainly nothing that exciting. Oh, right. But it can't hurt just to look around a bit for suspicious characters. <laughs> Okay. Besides, anything's got to be more exciting than seaweed. This seaweed is simply fascinating. Graeus filetus. That means green velvet. 
Poor Rupert. He doesn't know what he's missing. How many varieties did you say? Aha! There's a suspicious character if I ever saw one. Look at that coat! That's a very suspicious looking coat. Don't you agree, Inspector? Very suspicious indeed, Inspector. But wait! Look over there! I think that character is even more suspicious. He has a walking stick. Ah, yes. There's nothing more suspicious than a walking stick. Except a hat. Only an incredibly suspicious character would wear a hat like that. Inspector, I think we found the chameleon. <laughs> There's only one problem with your theory, Inspector. What? That's not the chameleon. That's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> but you must admit, it is a suspicious looking hat. <laughs> Very suspicious indeed, Inspector. <laughs> I think we've really found him this time. Yes, he has a coat. And a hat. And a walking stick. All three necessary features of a very suspicious character. What's he looking for? Something suspicious, I'll wager. Something yellow. <gasps> He's seen us. I don't know. He just disappeared. Hello. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. Did I startle you? Uh, of course, course not. not. <laughs> it's probably just an old fox's mind playing tricks on him, but were you two by any chance following me just now? Well, we were just kind of playing a game. We were pretending we were Scotland Yard inspectors. Oh. My. Well, the way you two had me under surveillance, I might have believed you were from Scotland Yard. Really? Oh, yes. Most definitely. We're very sorry if we bothered you, sir. Not at all. And my name is Nigel. I'm Francis. And this is Rupert. It certainly is a pleasure to meet you. I'd love to stay and chat for a while, but I must be off. In any event, I wouldn't want to get in the way of your detective work. <laughs> Goodbye, then. Goodbye! <laughs> I think I've had enough of looking for suspicious characters. <laughs> Me too. But what can we do now? Well, the tide's still out. So? So let's go. But where are we going? The old lighthouse. The old lighthouse has been abandoned for years. There's a cave and all sorts of passages and tunnels we can explore. That sounds exciting. Perhaps. But believe me, nothing ever happens there either. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, it looks as though we had a couple of uninvited guests. <laughs> yes, we must take care of them. The tunnels are over this way! <gasps> this way! Is that the plane you saw last night? I'm certain of it. It looks as if it's been hit by lightning. And this piece of metal I found on the beach matches it. This could be the chameleon's plane. Francis, we've got to tell the police. I don't think that's a very good idea. Who... who are you? Who is he? <laughs> he is the infamous Comedian? Comedian? I mean, <laughs> chameleon. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Uh, good throw. <laughs> now you catch. Come on, Rupert. Hey. After them. Get them! Here they are, 
boss. <laughs> I've got you. <laughs> It's certainly nice to be appreciated. What were you two doing out here? It's a long story, but first, let's get out of here. We found a seaplane inside the cave, and then two men tried to capture us. Yes, one's short and fat, and one's tall and skinny. And one is the chameleon. The chameleon? He's an infamous jewel thief. <laughs> well, I see we're still playing detectives. We're not playing. The chameleon stole the tiger's eye, but then his plane went down in a storm. I saw it last night from my window. And then today I found a piece of the plane on the beach, just like... Go on, Rupert. Just like the piece you picked up. So, what were you doing out here, Nigel? Oh, I was fishing. When I saw you and Francis on Lighthouse Rock, I thought you might be stranded. But you don't have any fishing gear. No fishing rod, no tackle box, no... no worms. You two really are very clever, aren't you? Who are you, really? Scotland Yard! You're a special agent! 48 years next month. They want me to retire, but I can't go just yet. Why not? You certainly must be old enough. Uh, I mean... <laughs> well, I'm old enough, all right, but I can't go until I've solved just one last case. The chameleon. Exactly. I've been on his trail for over 20 years. I've come close to capturing him many times, but he's always slipped out of my grasp. But he'll not escape me this time. That is, if I can get a little help. From you two. From us? Yes. As you might imagine, I don't get around as quickly as I used to. You two are young and fast. Will you help me catch the chameleon? Of, of course. course. Marvelous. But you mustn't whisper a word of this to anyone. Not a soul. We promise. Now the operation will begin at midnight. Here's what I want you to do. There it is. Are you sure you know what to do? We wait here until we see a signal. That'll be from two more Scotland Yard agents who are backing us up. Very good. We return the signal, they pick us up, and we lead them up the cliffs to the old lighthouse. I'll go round to the far side to cut off his escape route. When we rendezvous at the appointed spot by the lighthouse, we'll have the chameleon cornered. This is definitely not boring. Definitely. It's starting to get boring, Rupert. And cold. Where are they? And the tide's coming in, too. There! It looks as if our visitors have returned. <laughs> and perhaps they'll make it a permanent visit. <laughs> <laughs> what could have happened to Nigel? I don't know. Maybe he's been captured too. Maybe... Francis, what are you doing? I'm rocking from side to side. I can see that, but why? <gasps> oh. Are you all right? I think I broke something. Oh, no! Oh, yes! <laughs> I broke the chair. <laughs> Fantastic! Let's go! It's no use. We'll never... 
ever get out of here. This is terrible. It's just... It's just not fair. <laughs> keep your voice down. Oh, yes. You tell me to keep my voice down because you think you are the boss. But when is it my turn to be the boss? We agreed that whenever the real boss went away, we would take turns being the boss. But we never get to my turn. So, what is your point exactly? I want my turn! I want to be the boss! I want to be the... 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 the Canadian! The Canadian? It's the chameleon, you nincompoop! <gasps> Shh! Hurry! Now listen carefully. There's been a mishap. My two agents have been captured. They're being held in another cell upstairs. We've got to rescue them. I'll look after that. My boat's moored just below. I want you to take it, go to the police, and bring help as fast as you can. Now go. What are you doing, Rupert? We've got to hurry. Yes, but not to the boat. Can you get us to that shortcut we took this afternoon? I think so. I think I figured something out. Good, we got here first. I'm going to use the plane's radio to alert the police. You keep watch. Rupert, be careful. The radio, the radio. Someone's coming, Rupert! Nigel, but that's not your real name, is it? What do you mean? You're the chameleon. Ah, Rupert, when did you figure it out? When I heard your two partners arguing over who was going to pretend to be the chameleon. Very clever. You know, I got the idea of playing detective from you two. But why did you let us go just now? You could have left us there. Oh, no, I couldn't leave you two in the hands of my assistants. They may not look it, but they can be pretty rough customers. Especially when they realize they've been double-crossed. So what are you going to do with me now? Yes. What indeed am I going to do with you? Oh, why can't there just be a button marked start? My fault? Why is it my fault that those two brats escaped? I'm the boss, so naturally it cannot be my fault. But if you'd let me be the boss once in a while, then it wouldn't be my fault. Well, what is the real boss going to say when he finds out that we let them escape? It's gone! <sighs> I don't believe it. We... we've been double-stitched. That's double-crossed. In any case, it is your fault. I've already told you, it cannot be my... Hey! Stop! A thief! You can be the boss now. I don't want to be the boss now. I don't want to be the stupid accordion ever again. That's chameleon, you nincompoop. Whatever. There's a small island a few hundred miles from here. I'll drop you off there, Rupert. And I'll radio the authorities to pick you up. You know, I've been in this business for a long time. You're the only one who's even come close to catching me. And I must say, I've really quite enjoyed it, Rupert. Rupert? Goodbye, Nigel! Rupert! He's quite a boy, that Rupert. <gasps> quite a boy. Rupert, you did it! No, 
Francis. We did it! Oh, Rupert. You won't believe the number of exciting things there are to do today. Rupert? Francis? I think the children are a little tired, dear. Well, that's what we're here for. Rest and relaxation. 